Welcome back to episode 4 of Pokemon Emerald. So, oh, there's a Pokeball up there. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I hate Pokemon. Here's a Meryl. Meryl's a water type Pokemon. He's really cool, I guess. Um, I don't really want it, but whatever. No, I just want the Pokeball. So, we need to heal pretty soon. We actually have some. Oh, well, there's a potion too. Okay. No, oh, last piece of grass, and you had to catch me. It's a Taylo. Taylo's a like a flying type Pokemon. Uh, we would get it, but bef or it takes a while to get fly in this game, which is what you would use to get around to different cities and without like not walking. Uh, but I don't really like Taylo, first of all, and there's way better flying type Pokemon we can get in between the time that we're gonna get uh, fly. So um, let's go ahead and use a potion. So, potions are here. Use... Todd. He gains 20 HP. These things heal maximum at 20 HP, so we actually got lucky with that one. I actually want him to fight him, so don't... Don't think I was just trying to avoid him. Alright. So... What's this guy's name? He looks like a douche. Rich boy, Win Winston. Winston. Okay, so we've got a zigzagoon. That's not too bad, I guess. Um... Absorb, just because it'll probably do some extra damage because it's a special attack move. Yeah, there you go. And then and he's gonna tackle me, and we'll hit him with a quick attack, which should finish him off. Yeah, finish him off. All right, 90 experience, not too bad. Rich boy Winston, give me a lot of money. There you go, 1,400 dollars. That's not bad at all. So there's gonna be a Pokemon right, or there's gonna be a trainer right here on this row. So watch me. There you go. I always used to get kept, caught by her, and I used to get really mad because I didn't want to fight her. Because most of the time when I got to this point, all my Pokemon were about dead. But I'm glad I trained and everything. Plus, I used that potion, so that's nice. So, low tad. And I'll fight him with Todd. And depending on what his next Pokemon is, I might switch in between. Try to level up somebody, whoever I need to. I don't know, whoever I decide to level up, I guess. Astonish. Weird ghost type move. Uh. Kill it? Yeah, there you go. What are you gonna throw out next? What are you gonna throw? Shroomish. Uh, yeah, we can switch over Shroomish. Shroomish is a, uh, looks like a mushroom type of Pokemon. You can kind of tell by the name. Just grass, I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty normal Pokemon, I guess. Me! Oh, he's got a frown. Me! Uh, it's really, like, a stupid gay Pokemon because all it'll use on you is, like, spore moves. So, like, it'll either, like, paralyze you or something stupid, which that time it actually used Absorb. But almost every other time you fight this Pokemon, it'll be like, Oh, what's that? I'll poison you with poison stuff, or poison, poison powder. Or, oh, I'll just paralyze you with, uh, stun spore. It's really stupid, and I hate it. I really don't enjoy fighting this Pokemon very much. And again, there's only, or there's not really many Pokemon that I just enjoy fighting out in the wild. Yeah, last hate week. We can't have mad. Ninety-six dollars. You're a cheapo. So we're gonna head out, uh, and this will be our first double battle. So I actually wanna switch, and I wanna have Rick and Larry fight instead of Todd. So. We'll put the, like our, it'll go by our first Pokemon or our second Pokemon as uh, the go-to Pokemon to throw out. So we're just preparing by putting those two up front, so that way they get to fight instead of uh, Todd, because Todd's got enough leveling. So twins Gina and Mia going down. C Dot and Lotad, two pretty basic Pokemon. Uh, you haven't seen C Dot yet, and of course we have a Lotad already. So. Uh, we're just gonna throw everything we got at C dot for this first move, which if I kill it, it'll just automatically switch over and attack Low Tad, unless they have a second Pokemon to send out, which they don't. So that hits him. It's gonna use this. It's just super effective, but we're quite a way, or er, we're a couple levels higher than it, so it's not gonna just automatically kill us or anything. Um, kill off the Low Tad, and yeah. Double battling is like a really, really, really big mechanic in this in this game, so you gotta be really like <laughs> you, you gotta be really looking for them because like if you don't want to do a double battle because your po second Pokemon like just like happens to like suck or something, you have to like try to 
like maneuver around them and like try to talk to one instead of getting in between both of them to where they both fight you. So it's really like annoying sometimes. So I'll, I most of the time I'll just end up talking to both of them instead of just doing a double battle. No, I don't want to do this again. Alright, uh, there's a Pokeball you can get if you come over here. If you go to the right. Yeah. Oh, there's the Pokeball. So you have to go actually, you have to go down and around. I forget. You walk around. Up, over to grab. One X defend. I don't even enjoy X, X, um, X items, I guess you would call them. Uh, what they do is you use them bef or in battle so that way your Pokemon gets like a a boost of something or the corresponding X item. Uh, you get just something out of like it boosts that stat for one battle only so I don't really find it all that great. I mean I guess it would help but not really into them. So I don't know if this guy's gonna give it to us or not. Yeah we got HM01. HMs are um, they're like moves you can learn or teach to your Pokemon. Uh, but HMs are special, uh, and you'll kind of learn through, or about those. Uh, but I can't use this uh, on actual, uh, like, out in the wild item. Or, like, there's going to be little trees that you can cut down with cut. Uh, but we can't use it yet because we have to beat the corresponding gym leader to use the right kind of move, you know. So, we can't use it yet, but we will. Don't worry. We have to beat the first gym leader first, which I we should be able to get around to it. Uh, I'll probably have to do some more training and stuff off camera this episode, and then we will go over and fight her. Um, so we just I always end up talking to her twice for some reason. But if we come up here, we go up. Uh, think no, nothing's gonna happen yet. Uh, might be over here. Nope. I think it's after we beat the gym later, um, but we're going to have to do some more stuff with the Devon Corporation, which is uh, one of the guys that we saved last episode uh, was part of the Devon Corporation, uh, which is actually this building right here, Devon Corporation. For all your living needs. It's a pretty big building, but I'm going to go train, and there's the gym, so we will be right back, and we'll go battle her and get our first gym badge, so see you then. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys the Pokemon Wismer. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Wismer, but it looks like a crappy Pokemon, doesn't it? But we're actually going to catch this Pokemon because it has two evolutions that are actually really good. So we're if we don't kill it with this move, eh? Oh, actually we got another hit or two before we'll be able to catch it. Eh? 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 Alright, uh... I guess that's good. I would rather prefer, rather get it down a little bit more if it doesn't kill us first. So we're going to go over and throw a Pokeball. And I'd rather save the Great Ball right now just because they cost a little bit more money than Pokeballs do. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we caught the Wismer. Um, and it, it will, it'll turn into a Loudred and then an Exploud. But it's actually got a little bit of a different kind of... Um, it's got more of, or it's got a different kind of pattern than uh, than most Pokemon do. Like most Pokemon will hit their first evolution around 16. This one will hit its first evolution around 20 something, and then its last evolution will be around um, around 40. So it'll be a little while before we get to do anything cool with Wismer, but it'll be totally worth it. So even though it's a girl, we'll name it William. So I'll see you guys after I'm done training. Sorry to interrupt you doing whatever you were doing. Sick of Oh my god, guys. Larry's evolving. You guys, look at it. He's evolving. I actually didn't think this would happen so soon. He's only level 14. But boom! We have a Lumbre. Your Larry evolved into Lumbre. Yay! I'm so happy. So, unexpected, but back to training. And we're back. So, what I've done is I got Larry to 16. I haven't traded up taunt or traded up taunt any 
Uh, basically, the reason is because all the Pokemon in these grasses around here are weak as, like, I'll get out. Uh, I got Rick up to 13, and I haven't done anything with William yet, so we're gonna go ahead and fight the gym leader because I'm pretty confident that we can win. Um, so I've already fought all the trainers in here just because I needed to get some experience. So here's our first gym leader, Roxanne, and we're gonna go right in. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro City gym leader. I became a Pokemon gym, or I become a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and which, or er, and with which Pokemon? So she's gonna be the Rock Gym Leader, and I don't remember what the badge is called. I think it's a Boulder Badge, but that might just be from like Pokemon Yellow. Uh, so Gym Leader Roxanne, would you like to battle? It's not like it's an opinion now or an option. So uh, Rick's pretty good against the Geo dudes, I know. So it'll probably take about half health. Yeah. So two hits will, two hits should do him get him in the ground, which he did do a pretty big chunk of damage to us. And he's going to use defense curl, so it's probably going to take three hits now, which kind of sucks. Uh, yep. Oh, now he's going to use a potion. you got to be kidding me. And then, uh, then he's going to be low enough to where he's going to use a potion again. Okay, well, uh, I forgot that sometimes when you uh, attack them, if you get them down really low, twice in a row they won't use a potion the second time so there goes the geo dude should level me up eh eh yeah not so so level 14 with Rick that's not too bad uh, another geo dude I'll see how long I can last with Rick um, if he gets really or if he doesn't die in this battle I'm definitely gonna switch him out but we should be pretty good uh, rock tomb if it doesn't kill me Alright, yeah, I got this. Um, as long as I get to attack first, which I don't, which is super stupid. Now he gets to attack twice in a row, but we can't do anything about it. So, Geodude, meet Larry. Uh, Larry has a move called Nature Power. Uh, it's really iffy, like if I use it, there's no telling what it's going to do. So it uses Swift, sometimes it'll use Stun Spore or whatever else. I don't know, and Swift apparently is not very good against rock types, so he's going to use uh, Defense Curl. Uh, I'd aston it. Okay, apparently he's already low enough to where he feels like he needs to use a potion. I don't know how good Astonish is against it. Not very good. What about Absorb? Eh, eh. Okay, super effective. I should have been using that the whole time. Uh, this is good because we have two Pokemon that are grass types, so this sh the first gym leader shouldn't be terribly hard. Uh, Nose Pass is always really gay, and I hate fighting it most of the time, but with a grass type, I uh, feel pretty confident about it, so we just absorb. And it's super effective, but it's still not, do or it doesn't do as much. I think uh, Nose Pass has pretty good defense, and now it's going to be even better. <sighs> I hate it when they use defense raising moves. That and when gym leaders use potions. That I just hate it. That was a critical hit. Now he's gonna use a potion. Um, right after he uses Rock Tomb on me. Um, so yes. Yep. Or okay, it's gonna use a berry. If the berry refills it enough, it won't use. Or she won't use a potion. Maybe. Okay. She didn't use a potion. Okay. Block. Larry can't escape now, which was pointless anyway, because I couldn't escape from a trainer battle anyway. And it still didn't kill it. Oh my gosh. Growl. <laughs> okay, uh, it would have been... I thought she was going to heal, which is why I used that, but apparently not. Okay. Yep, we got it. I, I really expected her to use a potion as many times as we just let her like have the chance to. But Nose Pass had its energy drained. Foe Nose Pass died or fainted. So gained a lot of experience from that because it was level 15. So defeated Roxanne. So I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. 
Please accept this official Pokemon League stone badge. Not the boulder badge like I thought. Uh, $1,500. Not too bad at all. So, Dylan received the stone badge from Roxanne. Does a cool little jingle. Yeah. Stone badge heightens the attack of or attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. She gives us a TM, which will probably or it's it's Rock Tomb. I know it is. Um, Rock Tomb. Uh, technical machines or TMs are kind of like HMs, like we got earlier, uh, which is or we we had cut. But instead, it's gonna be a one-use thing, so we can only teach it to one Pokemon, and then we won't have it anymore. So it's not like an HM to where you can teach it as two or teach it to as many Pokemon as you want. But that'll do us for today. And I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode where we do some stuff with the Devon Corporation. So I'll see you guys then.